Hey guys, welcome back to another Panophobia Haunt build for 2017. Now I've gotten a lot done since the last time you guys saw, and I have to warn you, as far as I know, nothing is on, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the progress, as uh, I told you I, I told you guys that I would uh, through Instagram last night, I believe, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the progress. So I have Evil Eyes look up here, and Ghost Candle added as well, uh, Spider Portrait just up there, and then I added this little kind of key, just as a little effect for the hotel, I guess. Um, lots of cobweb back here. Got briefcase, two suitcases I guess, um, just trying to make it indicate that it's old I guess, and then I got these like bloody candles down here, um, telephone, another, uh, candle, uh, changing portrait of myself, and then I have jumping dog down here, he's gonna be, uh, more visible at some point, and I added some like, uh, dripping blood fr from that frame to kind of indicate that this place is haunted a little bit, that's a nice little touch I think. Uh, now this room is dark, but there you can kind of see me in the mirror. Hello. So, yeah, I just got my Dawn of the Dead. Or not really Dawn of the Dead, but you, you know what I mean, just the Jimmy animated mirror. Then I got Terra TV right here, which, um, I think it's, it's not really on right now, but... I put this Venus flytrap back here. I doubt I'll leave it there, but it's there for now. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Rest in the Grave Ghoul is on the bed over here. Sorry, it's hard, it's getting hard to see, but there's him then I have another picture with blood dripping and also it's hard to see I think you can see a little bit I have lots of blood dripping from like there making it look um, <clears throat> more haunted I guess like a haunted hotel and of course there's possessed wall hanger and I got another picture that has dripping blood that I would be hanging up soon <clears throat> just the bathroom at the moment just a white tarp nothing special <clears throat> uh, the entrance to the asylum with a box of wires on the floor it says sorry we're closed there's Untimely Death, whose hood is all messed up. I, I gotta fix that hood at some point. Um, okay, silent sign. Walk through. Uh, empty Soul Girl. Peekaboo Penny. That, I think, is gonna be gone soon. Um, I still have a lot of work to do in the Horror Hotel, this um, asylum, and then this next one, which I have to update you guys a little bit on. This was going to be the zombie quarantine, now I'm thinking it's going to be a single zombie containment unit, as it's just not, like, big enough to be a zombie quarantine. I think it's just going to be a single zombie containment unit, um, which somebody tried to go in and, like, basically died while trying to contain this zombie. Um, so I just got help written there on the wall, because why not? Uh, lots of bloody walls and everything. Uh, and then there's the door. I just gotta turn back sign. That's that's not gonna go there, I don't think. That's probably gonna go in the swamp. Now we have the laboratory, which I don't think you guys have seen this yet. I don't believe so. I actually acquired this nice, like, cabinet kind of thing um, a couple weeks ago. So that looks pretty good there. I got a little ear in a jar. And if I put a black light through that, it actually glows like the water. It's really cool. Um, this is a little tip for you guys. Uh, if you mix the like tip of a highlighter into the water, it'll completely glow. Uh, crawling monster hands back there, just lots of little uh, things you can look at in this thing. I'm probably going to end up putting some lights in the top so you can kind of see through there, see what's going on. There's High Voltage who is now completely broken, so sorry about that. Uh, it was 10 bucks, so it was still worth it. Evil Scientist who is mostly broken, he doesn't do anything but talk and light up now. His eyes light up and he talks, nothing is hard from that. Um, Incinerator, which has all this stuff piled on top of it here. Uh, waste buckets down there. Bony Tony right there. And the floor is a mess. Also, I made this kind of like hanging electrocuted guy, I guess. Kind of like my own idea of the electrified corpse. But like, you know, cheaply done. But it's, it's still pretty... Uh, it, it looks pretty good, especially it'll look better in the dark. And those are some flickering lights up there. Got another strand of flickering lights. And a strand of these like kind of like flicker, flickering fire lights, I think. Um, going on through, here's Alien Capsule, who is not on, obviously. And we got the Creepy Carnival Returns. Let's go through the one here. Um, Pushing Clown, who is also now completely dead. Uh, my small Pan-Asian Clown. And then this giant towering clown that I made that I still need to make a video on. He's a little bit broken up at the moment, but I will get around to fixing him. Um, and I gotta get one more wall for the clown section right here, and then you enter into the dead room, which, uh, there's the boogeyman, 
he has a red light glowing on him and he actually looks really creepy there. There's the soon to be a bed, I guess. Lizzie's not going on there and either is most of the rest of that stuff. That white thing might pose as a pillow, but I gotta fix it up. Um, this little toy section with uh, Daddy Teddy, Daddy Bear, this creepy little doll that I got. Um, Feral Fuzzy and Sombra doll. Made this little kind of creepy smiley face. Then I got all these hanging dolls everywhere. Uh, my broken face off baby doll. This um, closet doll, maybe. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, oh, yeah, right. The broken tragedy doll. Uh, <laughs> the leg of my uh, broken face off baby doll. He's not going there. He's just gonna, He's just there for now. Um, and here is some of the progress of my swamp. Go through. And it's very green. Kind of like nice looking. There's, there's my witch who... I hate to tell you guys this. But I don't think she lunges out anymore. I just got her, which stinks. She is in kind of a tight space, so maybe it has something to do with that. At some point, I'm going to bring her out and see if she works any better. Uh, if you guys have any fixes for that, let me know, and I will try that out. And then you just kind of come out right now, and I just got um, the um, mossy corpse thing and jumping spider, and then you exit. So, as you all can see, nothing glamorous yet. I have Angel of Death right here, so I'll put together a little skelly right there. Um, this is kind of behind the scenes area. It's really dark back here, so let me see if I can get a little bit more light for you. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit better, I guess. Um, lots of just random junk I gotta find somewhere for. Um, Cerberus also, if you guys didn't know, Cerberus is completely dead. Um, I guess it's possible I could fix him, but I'm not sure. Hoping I can. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the haunt. Personally, my favorite theme so far is the um, laboratory. Let me know what you guys think is the best so far. Um, I honestly didn't think this one was going to be that great. I thought it was just going to be kind of a filler for my haunt. But this is actually turning out to be one of my favorites. So, also I love the clown room. But of course, if you guys don't know me, I just like, I love clowns. So, that's not really a big surprise to me or anything. Oh, and also I forgot to mention I have monkey chimes and accordion monkey down there and some popcorn. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for the haunt, let me know in the comments. And of course, let me know what your favorite theme is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned to Morris Manor where Halloween is in the air. Happy hauntings, guys. Bye.